Hi everyone and very good evening. Welcome to the next IOTD image of the day, the daily ritual at 10 p.m. And today the image that we have, I had told you yesterday that we will be talking about an image from hematology and this is what we have in front of us. So definitely we are dealing with a different kind of a stain because it's lo it looks very bluish. And what cell population of hemat are we dealing with? So all of these, they don't have a nucleus. So they happen to be red blood cells, right? A nucleated red blood cells. Now what else am I seeing in them? So be it this red blood cell or this red blood cell or this one, I'm seeing a lot of inclusions inside it. Firstly, this appearance that you're seeing over here is known as the golf ball inclusions. This is known as the golf ball inclusions and where do you see them? First and foremost, you see them in alpha thalassemia. So obviously, now there are a couple of questions that you'll have to answer about alpha thalassemia. Before I go into the details of that, you need to tell me, why is this stain looking so blue? What is the reason? Because the stain that has been used over here is a supravital stain. It is a supravital stain and the example of that stain is new methylene blue, NMB new methylene blue so first and foremost i want to ask all of you which I, i'm sure pretty much you know about it new methylene blue or a supravital stain is also used for staining some other precursor of a red blood cell and yes that's also the stain for a reticulocyte so that same supravital new methylene blue is being used over here for staining these golf ball inclusions and where do we see these golf ball inclusions we see them in alpha thalassemia so first and foremost you guys know that alpha thalassemia means that the alpha chain production is going to go for a toss. Alpha chain production will not happen. So why did the alpha chain production not happen? Because you'll say that there is a problem in the alpha gene and we can say that the alpha gene is absent. So basically it happens because of absence of the alpha genes or deletions of the alpha genes. So repeating for all of you that alpha thalassemia is because of alpha gene deletions. So first let's consider normal. You and I, normal people, how many alpha genes do we have? Please remember in a normal person there are four alpha genes. There are four alpha genes on which chromosome? Four fours are 16. So they are present on chromosome number 16. So four alpha genes is a normal situation. You and I thankfully have been blessed with four alpha genes. If one goes missing, patient is asymptomatic, person is asymptomatic. If two of them are deleted, see you keep deleting one by one. So if one is deleted, asymptomatic. If two are deleted, it's ATT alpha thal trait, alpha thalassemia trait. If three are deleted, now that is where this image of the day comes. If three are deleted, then it results in HPH disease or beta-4 tetramers. What do I mean by that? Adult hemoglobin, again talking about normal, you and I, we are alpha-2, beta-2. That is what adult hemoglobin is. So you have two alpha chains. Two chains of alpha will combine with two chains of beta. That's what the rule is. I'm saying alpha chain production has gone for a toss. Alpha chain production is not happening over here. Then how will this beta come, whom will this beta combine with? Beta 2, it has to combine with two more things. So it combines with beta itself. So can I say there are going to be beta 4 tetramers that are formed because alpha is not there, it combines with beta. So beta 4 tetramers are formed and that beta 4 tetramer is known as HBH disease. This shows you the golf ball inclusions. So that is what I asked you right now that when I'm saying alpha thalassemia, which alpha thalassemia shows you golf ball inclusions? You'll say the HBH disease shows me golf ball inclusions, which is a deletion in three alpha genes. Let's just finish off this table. What happens when all the four alpha genes are deleted? Obviously, the child is not going to survive. It's an intrauterine death. It is not compatible with life. So, intrauterine death means at the stage of fetal hemoglobin. That is at the stage of fetal hemoglobin. What is fetal hemoglobin? Fetal hemoglobin is alpha 2, gamma 2. 
that's what it's supposed to be alpha 2 gamma 2 but do we have the alpha chains over here there are no alpha chains what will this gamma do gamma will combine with itself gamma will have gamma 4 tetramers and that is what you see when all the four chains are deleted so in the intrauterine life in the fetal life gamma 4 tetramers are formed and that is known as hb barts so please remember normal person four genes one deleted asymptomatic two deleted trait three deleted hbh and all four deleted hb barts well not only is our image of the day done but a considerable amount of theory is also done so thank you for joining for this iotd also i hope you viewed that today morning we had a uh, you know we uh, probably a preview to our kickstart morning sessions so today morning at 7 30 a.m we had a class on the youtube channel which was uh, a morning boost of 10 mcqs discussed in detail over a span of 50 minutes so please do take out time and view that on a faster speed probably in case you've not now guys see you tomorrow again first 7 30 a.m for a morning boost and then at 10 p.m for image of the day thank you so much and good night